Hi, welcome back to Xmonad. This is on an SSD. As you can see here in the GPU, most of the time it tells you if you're on VMware or not, or VirtualBox or other virtual machines. And um, I'm going to talk about hmonad.hs file. But before I do, there is a red thing up here and it will screw up your system if you don't know that it will do that. So let's update our system as well. Whenever you see these lines in here, Haskell, never ever log out. Okay. So first you get everything in, the updates come in, and then after all the Haskell stuff is installed, you need to rebuild immediately your Xmonad. Xmonad is not a desktop, it's an application actually. If you stick that in your mind, then everything will be just fine. You need to rebuild your application, your program. So super shift R, that's all you need to do. And everything is rebuilt again. You see here the back end, the wallpaper changes, polybar is gone for a while. So all these things are, um, well, you need to, to, to reload everything. And of course, choose another wallpaper. That's Alt N for you, Alt T for trash. That's a nice one. So we are on the latest Xmonad. Everything is up to date now. And maybe one thing we can do as well is check out if AUR gives us something, if there are elements from AUR and Yebin is a very important one. That's our AUR helper. So that's interesting that that comes in. The rest is, well, nice to have, but this is a need to have an AUR helper, an update for it. So let him do its work. We are talking about Super F2. Oh, my screen key. Let's activate that screen key. We're talking about um, Xmonad. Xmonad has a .xmonad folder and inside there's a folder with scripts and there is one major important file that's this one xmonad hs. We've gone and uh, the last video I've made was about uh, the structure of it really and now we're going to tackle it from top to bottom to check out what things we can change and one of the things we can change is color. Now, if you don't uh, see these colors as I do, that's because you didn't follow a tutorial we've made to install extra packages. You can install new things in, uh, which is Atom, by the way. This is the, well, it's an editor and it's uh, you can tweak it and theme it and add packages to it. So you have PHP uh, layout for, for languages and all these poss possible choices. You can have lots of choices and you can have this syntax coding. And in this case, hexadecimal color coding. So color codes, fine. Um, another control T shows you what I mean. The focused border is this color and the other that's not focused is a little bit more gray. And when you move over from and to, you'll see that it's focused and unfocused. So that's basically what it does. This is the normal border and this is the focus border. So if you want to change your color, there are lots of uh, possibilities, but there is also just go to the internet and just start typing. Let's get rid of all the rest, close other tabs. Yep. And then we're going to go for a color like C3, 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 doesn't matter. And then you get this thing here. So you can drag it along and see, okay, what kind of color do I like? I would like to have this color. Fine, you control C this thing, and there's G Picker, and there's uh, G Pick, and uh, other uh, applications out there. But if you want to say, I want my focus border, maybe let's take that one as orange. Save. It's gonna be this kind of orange. Control Alt T, and if you see the blue thing still change is is still normal. Um, Let's see if an Alt R does the trick because there's an other shortcut. As you can see, Alt R works as well. It's not a rebuilding, but it's the um, reloading of Xmonad. So Super Shift R is like a real compilation of an application. And the other one is just reload this Xmonad. So that did the trick already. 
So you have now these color things, the focused one. So to keep things a little bit uh, similar, but I'm not a big fan on, on brown, I must say. So let's make something, um, I don't know, this is just an exercise. There are 16 million colors to choose from, you choose. Okay, this kind of color should be something dark, right? So Alt R, Alt R, that's it. And then we get this, indeed, this effect. Well, why not? It's not that bad. So you have this effect that you uh, have a focused and an unfocused. The other guys are not used at this point in time, so there's no use for it as of, the, as of now, but we have already put it in there just in case for future. So that's, um, I think we better cut these, these videos in pieces. So this will be the video where you change the border color. All right, let's stop this thing here.